Hello. Today I'm going to talk about the Red Hat Application Migration Toolkit. I'm going to talk about the Developer Studio plugin. For those of you who have, who have actually attended the Red Hat Monolith to Microservices Workshop, you have, would have used the command line version of the Migration Toolkit. So here is a, a screenshot of the dashboard after you run the migration tool on your application. Using the command line interface version, you don't require, you don't have to provide the source code. All it requires are your EAR files and your WAR files. In here is showing you a summary of the analysis. It tells you the number of incidents, meaning the changes you have to make and what kind of uh, changes are they, whether they are mandatory, optional, or potentially uh, dangerous. Right? It also gives you an effort estimation in terms of story points. If you're familiar with uh, Agile methodology, you should be uh, familiar with uh, story points. It also gives you very detailed assessment of your issues. And in this particular screenshot, it's showing you the migration mandatory issues. So if you click on any one of those, it will show you a detail of what needs to be done to actually migrate your application from another web uh, app server like a WebLogic or WebSphere or even from previous version of uh, EAP, Red Hat, JBoss, enterprise application platform. As I said earlier, the command line interface does not require any uh, source code, but if you already have the source code, it may be easier to use just the, uh, the proper studio plugin because you can look at the source code and change your source code at the same time. So that's why today I'm going to show you the Eclipse or Developer Studio plugin. The first thing you need to do is actually install the plugin. How are you going to do that? You click on the help, install new software, and then you should type in this particular entry here. All right? I will put it in the uh, in the link below so you you can you can have a look at it later. You can see that there is a new version. Uh, that's why uh, it asked me to install it. There's a 4.2.0 version now. So uh, instead of waiting for it to install, I'll just use the existing version that I have. If you're familiar with uh, Developers Toolkit, there are different perspectives. In here, I already got the perspective, the uh, RH uh, AMT or Application Migration Toolkit perspective active here. But if you don't have it, what you can do is go to Windows perspective, open perspective, and then look for the outage AMT, Red Hat Application Migration Toolkit, and change to that perspective. You can see that all of a sudden you have an issue explorer here, and also you have an issue details report, etc. So the first thing you should do is in here, you, you see that there's a RHAMT server, you should start the server. Right, it will start up in a few moments. Now, the next thing you want to do is actually import your uh, application if you have the source code, right, using the import, right? If it's a Maven application, you just select Maven existing project and then continue. You probably know this already. In this particular case, I have already imported a couple of projects here. Right? I'll show you a really, really simple one. So what I need to do is select Issue Explorer. And I want to analyze the particular project. So what I need to do is I click on this, Create RHAMT Run Configuration. Just like uh, when you're running any Java application, you need to create a Run Configuration. So I click on this one here. You can see one configuration. I can add the project I want to analyze. So I just want to analyze a very simple 
uh, source code uh, project. So I click OK. I said run. You can see that it's actually running that uh, analysis here. It's generating a report. Now, if you look at it, if I click on this particular one to expand everything, you see that it has found a number of uh, issues. For this one, you can see that there's a light bulb next to it. If you double click on it, you can see the problem associated with this one. Well, you see a light bulb next to it, that means you can actually, there is actually a fix for it. All you need to do is click on one button to fix that. Now we just look at the preview, quick fix. So it's telling you that in order to fix this, you have to replace this web logic specific annotation by the generic web server annotation, right? There are some simpler type of changes in the, you can do. You can actually just uh, point and click to change it, right? By, by clicking on the apply quick fix, you will fix it. But sometimes it's not as easy, right? So let, let's look at a more difficult projects. So let's like create another one, another one time. So this time I'm going to select the simple sample web logic service. I'm going to run it. Again, this will take some time. It's done. Now, if I click on the expand all, you see all the problem that has been identified. So in here, you see that there's a, there are a number of mandatory changes you need to make. It's all related to Gen D lookup. So if you double click on this one, right? And if you click on the issue details, you will find out exactly what is required. So it's telling you this. The method lookup an object using Gen D string. During the migration process, some entity Gen D bindings may change. So basically you have to adjust the Gen D name accordingly. And here is an example of uh, what is required. Right, so you have to actually type that in yourself and for some time for a more uh, complicated uh, mandatory change, you have to actually refer to uh, another web page to actually look at exactly what is required. So if you look at this part, Another uh, problem here, you see that it's actually using a proprietary logger. So in order to change that, you have to change it to use the Java util logging logger, right? And this is how you're going to do that. Once you fix it, the cross in here will, will change to, a, to a, a check mark, right? This is the process how you're going to change it if you have source code. Thank you very much.